Okay, today we looked at using some tiles to help us understand algebra better, and we were looking at naming them. On the sheet that we were working on in class, you were given some names already. Um, you have the 3D view and the top view, which you worked on lining up, and that was given a name of 1. That's the small yellow square. Then we have this shorter blue rectangle, and again, you have your 3D view and your top view, and that was given the name of X. And then there's a big long blue rectangle, another variable, and that was given the name of Y. And those three names are recorded on the sheet where you're going to record the rest of these answers. 3D view, top view, name. Uh, you are using the naming, um, and this was exploring. We're still learning to use these algebra tiles. And we're using the area model for multiplication. So, for example, to name this piece that we don't know, you use the top view, you're sliding it in, and... <coughs> We then have to match pieces up on the left and the top. You'll notice one, two, three, four, five pieces line up on top, and one piece on the left. So this is one by five, one times five, and its name is five. Pretty straightforward on that one. Let's take a look a little further down the sheet. This piece is about halfway down. It's the blue one. It's the darker one. Um, it's got some lines going across it. Uh, it's right underneath where you see the X. And you'll notice up on top lines up nicely with an X. On the side is the piece that we just named that lines up very nicely. Some people try to line up an X on the side, but it sticks out too far. When you're lining up on the side and the top, they can only be one Y. So this one has five pieces on the side, and those are the constants, and an X on top. So it's five times X. That's the area of this rectangle. Length times width, five times X. It's 5 by x, and we name it 5x. So this is the name that you want to record on your sheet. And you're going to continue doing this with all the pieces. Sliding them in, matching up what matches on the left and the top, and remembering it's a multiplication problem. This is your first factor. This is your second factor. If this is 5, the top is x. This is called 5x. So we want to slide this piece in so it matches the way it is on your sheet. This one's on the back of the sheet, about halfway down. Um, actually, maybe it's up near the top on the back. Okay, slide it in, and you're going to, again, pull the pieces from your work area so that it matches on the left and that matches on the top. You'll finish naming all these sheets, and that's due tomorrow.